Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. My name is Rob Dukan, a Manchester United fan just like you who clicked the video. Guys, thanks for all of you subscribing. Guys, in these videos today, I want to tell you guys my view about the biggest story today. If you got up in the morning, it was last night, it came out and uh, uh, all the papers are, are picking on it that Neymar is moving to Manchester United. Well, they haven't said yet Neymar has signed the Manchester United, but what is clear is that Manchester United are doing some, uh, you know, some background work on uh, this player. And uh, the source also, which is um, a very credible guy who works for French uh, uh, Transfer L'Equipe, has said um, uh, that Neymar has a contract with the Qataris, right? That uh, he c the only club he can move to when he goes, it will be Manchester United. So I don't know how that, where that information came from, but we heard that Neymar, if Neymar has to leave PSG, the only club he can go to is Manchester United. So I'm asking you guys, is Manchester U is Neymar a good fit for Manchester United? Please drop your comment below. I will personally have to, um, reply that comments. Is Neymar a good fit for today's Manchester United? Because, let me tell you guys uh, what, something, right? Some weeks, uh, just a week ago, we had this information. Let me just put it in front of you so you read it. So the information was clear that, um, here you go. Man City boss Guardiola phones Neymar to discuss transfer as Man United make push. So it was uh, that it was re written here that Pep Guardiola want to bring Neymar in City, Man City. So that brings me that in, that brings me some info, some, some uh, give me a feeling that Neymar will leave PSG. He will need, he will come to England. But my question here for you as fan is Neymar the right type of player United need to approach? I think yes and no, but I will go more for no. If you ask me personally, I tell you no, and I want to tell you guys now why I think we shouldn't buy Neymar. United, we are in a work in process. We are not a final product yet. Yes, we we did win a trophy and we can beat uh, City in the weekend, but we are not a very comfortable team. I think Neymar, the, the players of the caliber of Neymar, who is, by the way, a world star, a massive brand in, in sports in general should be bought only when United are already in a very stable position. Not in the league, but in our playing style. If Neymar comes to Manchester United, he will be the best player. He will be the player that, uh, that, that he will be the playboy. I mean, the, 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 the what you call um, the, the public face of the Premier League because he is that massive. He is going to beat all the, all the, all the, uh, how do you call it, uh, Holland in, in Man City. I think Neymar has that natural stardom in him that he is going to press uh, su suppress all the stars who are today playing in the Premier League. That is good for business, for marketing for Manchester United. It's going to bring a lot of money, but I don't think on the pitch he will be, he, it will be that successful. Why? Today we just came up with, a, we just had, no, that was yesterday, Manchester United just came up with this negative news that Anthony Marshall, Anthony Glass Marshall is really made of glass. That he has an injury and he will not play the finals in the um, uh, against City. This is a massive blow for Manchester United. We already have Anthony, which we are it's in doubt. We, uh, we have uh, Martinez, who will not play. And there we have now, yeah, in, in uh, Anthony Marshall, who, by the way, has had his fourth injuries in uh, the season. I mean, it is too much for me. I want to ask you guys, please, tell me what you think, because I've been thinking about this a lot. Should Anthony Marshall be sold this season? I know I'm at a yes for 100%, and I want to tell you guys why I think it's still difficult to sell him, because he earns like 200,000K a week. That's roughly almost 10 million pounds a year. And with his um, health situation, I'm very difficult. Um, it's very difficult for me to understand or to accept or to, to, to get a club that can pay his wages. I think if you, the best deal United can have on Marshall, either keep him as a bench the attacker or we give him a, on loan and pay half of his, uh, his salary. Because I don't see, if you have to let Marsha leave on free today, you have to pay him roughly 20 million. That's twice for two, because he does has two more years in Manchester United. One of those deals which, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah. 
so guys uh, about Neymar again I just want to tell you guys uh, so we had this uh, the story before we had now about Pep this was what was in uh, what we had we had uh, the, that Neymar wants to join Manchester United and leave PSG to another club in a huge transfer boost for Eric Ten Hag. But in this uh, information about Son, uh, because I've, I've read from uh, what Fabrizio Romano has just come out and said, he was asked that question even during the Fulham game. And he still replied and said, um, if there is something with Neymar, any development, you the press will know. I think these are all paper talks. Not that he's coming to Manchester United that is not serious, but we are still at the very early stage of the deal. But my question as a fan, that's my question to you guys, which is important, is do you think Neymar will be a good value of money for Manchester United? Why do you want Neymar to be a Manchester United player? What does he bring to Manchester United? He plays an average of 22 games a season. We, we, we have in United, we average 55 to 60 games a season. And he plays only 22. Yes, as I said, he's good for marketing. He's a talented player. He, 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 will, he will revolutionize our team. But he might also not be happy with the development of Manchester United. I mean, he. all I can tell you guys, honestly, that if it's Ten Hag who wants... Uh, Neymar to Manchester United, then I'm in all in. If it is Ten Hag, Eric Ten Hag, my manager, who wants Neymar, then I am in. But there are some signs that these are all paper talks. And let me just come back to you guys. Today we have had this information. Yeah. Man United, yeah, this is from uh, the mail. The mail has been good to Manchester United since Ten Hag came in. It seems they have uh, somebody who has uh, in, uh, inside information on Manchester United. Uh, this is the, um, the mail, the Daily Mail. Man United update on Neymar transfer says it is all about Cristiano Ronaldo's mistakes. So it is written here. Let me go on and read it if you don't have time. I know most of you are, on, are working. Sorry. it's. Uh, let me just find it here and, get, and read it to you guys. It is very important that you know because the media knows how to play with um, us, the fans. It is important that we get this right with you guys. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where is that? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I can't find this, man. Anyway, so it is written here that Manchester United uh, is because of Cristiano Ronaldo and that the Cristiano Ronaldo's experience with Manchester United it's uh, quite of pushing Manchester United away from that name and deal. So what they are basically saying here is that if you go to the mail, you see it is that United are a bit worried. Um, they are not one of the reasons why United are not really a hundred percent sure about bringing Neymar if he's going to be um, a success for Manchester United. There are some transfer news I'm going to tell you guys. Uh, and Manchester United is simply because uh, they of the the their, their experience they had with Cristiano Ronaldo. If you remember, Ronaldo came in. He's the type of a player, a player with massive character, and uh, he he almost messed up our our season. So uh, that's why I, I keep asking you guys, the fan, because this is a fan thing. This is not mine. It's you. You are the power of uh, Manchester United. You are among the billion supporters United have. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so guys, please make sure you click the like on the video. If you're learning something, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for all of you who subscribed. We had yesterday almost 10 of you who did subscribe. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be doing these videos every day. We'll love to go live, but let's continue again. So talking about this, Ten Hag is a bit skeptical about bringing Neymar to Manchester United because I remember last, I read in one of the outlets last week, Ten, uh, Ten Hag's come, uh, they, outlet, they, wrote, they, they put it this way. They said, Man United are heading for a transfer that might hurt Ten Hag's benchmark in salary. So Ten Hag wanted that Manchester United player, the best top salary should be 200k full stop the rest will be add-ons on depending on performance but Neymar ends in PSG I think like 400,000 pounds a week around that sum Mbappe is the highest it's like 450 a week so it will cost Manchester United like 20 million I think over 20 million pounds to 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 per season to bring in Neymar Manchester United and we know his records. I've said this before. I'm just repeating it again. So this is a for me personally, it's a big no. It's a big no. I think we should go to play go the players who have something to prove. Neymar is coming to Manchester United for just another paycheck, 
I don't think he should be the Manchester United player. Yes, he is a very good player, as well as Messi is a good player. But I don't think Manchester United will move to the next level, bringing these players who believe they already achieved. You know what it means when you come with such players. And we have seen that with Cristiano Ronaldo, not because they aren't good. So let's switch a little bit since we try to make our videos to be at least 10, 15 minutes. So we save your time. Um, let's switch to the next story. Yeah, it's... Um, about I think I talked about this yesterday, Mason Greenwood. I told you guys, Mason Greenwood, uh, Tenak hinted that Mason Greenwood, uh, well, his statement was clear, was that he will, he is not the one to make the decision on Mason Greenwood. This is by Son. This is a real statement. I know most of you will take Son's, what comes from the Son the journal with a, a pinch of salt, a pinch of salt. But I want to say this. He said that in the interview, I listened to the interview. I did, by the way, a short review on the interview yesterday. By the way, go to the channel. You'll see, get a run of run over on what Ten Hag said yesterday on the interview with the New York Times with Harry Winter. I said, uh, Ten Hag said that he, he uh, said something about Mason Greenwood. The reason why I'm, I'm talking about Greenwood again is because in this channel, we have a lot of fans of Mason Greenwood. And guess what? I'm one of the fans. I think he's a very fantastic footballer. I think we shouldn't take football. Football is not a, it's our religion, you know. Mason Greenwood didn't kill anyone. So I don't see, I am not, um, I'm not a perfect person. Some of you are perfect. You could crack on with Mason Greenwood being, uh, being difficult uh, with the situation of him bringing him playing for Manchester United. Anyway, Ten Hag said he's not, he's a very good attacker. He has proven that before, but it will not really depend on him, which I think it does have to depend on the manager. And um, that um, Ten Hag basically said, I'm open to the situation, but let's see, it will be early next year. But we have heard some reports that Greenwood doesn't have a good relation with some relationship with some of the players in the dressing room. But we also heard that Greenwood wants to play his life for Manchester United, and um, there are a lot of rumors, rumors about this guy because he's a natural star, Mason. But uh, as I said in videos, and I'm going to do a video about Manchester about Greenwood again. I think he should stay. He should play for United. Yeah, the other, before we go, we'll try to make it short to take your time, guys. I hope if you're learning, getting some value, please make sure you click the like. Thanks for all of you who like the video. As I said, we are a very small community. And I want to say there was, uh, there was an idiot who came in and trying to tell me what to do in the year. I don't like that. Either you're a fan, you're not a fan. This is not a magic channel. I don't create stories here. We react to stories. And we'll be having a lot of transfer stories here. And I know most of the people in the world, you have your daily jobs. You have your stuff to do. You just want to sit and listen and get some roundup of news about Manchester United. If you're one of that, those guys, please make sure you subscribe. And also make sure, please like all the videos you watch so that can bring in more fans, which you guys can interact with them. YouTube is not magic. That's the way it works. It's up to you. Anyway, our last story here is uh, about this guy. I think you guys, uh, this is a guy, He, I think he's going to be very fantastic, uh, very uh, important for our game on Saturday. So that's um, Fred. Manchester United meet for attracting interest from, interest from Fulham. This is an old story, for, old story two days ago, actually. In the Fulham game, Fred spoke with the manager, um, of Fulham, and um, uh, we didn't get in, an in-depth on that uh, uh, discussion, but it was clear that the manager of Fulham is interested in Fred. He's the kind of player that can improve Fulham next season. United needs some money. Ten Hag has made it clear, as I told you, with Harry Maguire and other players, that he is willing to let players who are not having enough time to leave. I think with Fred, if we can get 20, 20 million for Fred, that would be fantastic. 25 million would be just fantastic, but nothing less than 20. He's a very good player. He is good with a um, different system. This is what I want to tell you guys. A, 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 to be a professional footballer is very difficult. I played at that level of professionalism. It is very difficult. So there is nothing like a very bad player. But, um, you know, some players don't fit certain system. I, my system of playing, I will not fit a very quick team. I'm very slow. They used to call me a coach. People hate me because, I mean, I mean, some guys here sit down and say, I shouldn't talk about myself. But I'm a human like you guys watching these videos. So certain players don't fit a certain system. That's why, the world, they, they, there is, that's why there is scouting. There's, they spend billions of dollars to scout players worldwide because certain players fit certain systems so i think fred will do well in such teams like even everton he's energetic he wins the ball he loses the ball but in manchester united we want to control games and we need more elite 
quality of players. So uh, I think I've done a run up, run up of this. Fred has to play that final. I think, I, I, I mean, uh, Wayne Rooney said he will play with a 4-4-2 on the finals against City. Anyway, I don't want to give a lot away. Guys, make sure you subscribe because I will do my, doing my, my first 11 for that finals, considering that Anthony Glass Marshall will be out. Anthony Glass Marshall, that's how I'll be calling him from today because this is ridiculous. I'm not blaming him. I mean, the, I mean, to have an injury, it is normal. But if he's not feeling fine, I mean, this guy has had an injury almost, um, almost more than Marco Van Basten has had all his career. He's been having an injury, his body. Either he's coming in earlier or he's coming in late. I don't know what to say with Anthony Marshall, but that doesn't sound right. Anyway, guys, as I said about in the beginning of the video, it's this video is about Neymar. Should Neymar be brought to Manchester United? Does mean Neymar has the qualities, not the talent to play football, the qualities to fit on Eric Tenag's side? Tenacity, you have to be a team player. You have to participate in the game. Um, you have to be um, punctual. Your character has to be right. Tell me what you think, guys, because you're... Your your texts are more important than the videos I make in this channel. Please make sure you like again the video. And yes, talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Ciao, ciao.